There are many stories about everything, and so I'm going to tell you exactly what I know. Um, he was born in Lowndes, Georgia, which is a small town um, near Savannah, Georgia. He went to school at Oakey Grove, which was actually a church. Um, back in those days, the churches um, had school for everybody. I believe the highest grade is one year of high school. But from my understanding, um, back then high school only went up to about the 10th grade. My dad's education was some high school, and then it was an opportunity for him to get drafted into the military, so he took that opportunity. Um, I do know that he was young, and um, going somewhere that he really has never been before, you know, because he was in the Korean War. I would admire him because he was in the military, and from looking at photos of him in his uniform, that was pretty much the only thing I could look at him and gaze upon him in wonderment. And so I would ask him questions, Daddy, what did you do in the Army? And then I'd have him show me how to stand the way he stood and how to salute, you know, with, you know, He'd make sure my hand was positioned properly and then the way he would march and then I'd get the broomstick so he could show me how he used to do the gun, you know, and all that. Well, I know when he got out, he was into carpentry um, and I was told and that he was one of the first black carpenters in Vallejo at that time. I think he would crack up. <laughs> I think he would think this is like, wow, you know. I think he would have been thrilled that, yeah, I wish I would have done that because maybe things would have been a little different or opportunities different and, you know, 